guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jody, and today I'm gonna to be sharing with you three healthy and vegan dessert recipes that you can eat guilt-free even if you are on a weight loss journey. These are also perfect recipes for summer because these are all nice and cold, no-bake treats. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Okay, so the first recipe is going to be fruit popsicles. I'm gonna be using strawberries, but use any fruit you want, and then lemon juice, maple syrup, or other liquid sweetener, and then I'm doing half the recipe with coconut yogurt and half with some non-dairy milk. And I will show you which one I use that's really creamy. If your yogurt or milk is not flavored, I would also consider adding some vanilla as well. Now, this recipe was inspired by my childhood love for Freezy Pops. Anybody love Freezy Pops as a kid? Leave me a comment down below. What was your favorite childhood treat? And as always, all my recipes will be down in the description box below. Right, so this next recipe is actually a recipe from my mother-in-law and it is a chocolate tofu pudding so here's everything you are going to need for it a pound of tofu vanilla maple syrup or your own liquid sweetener honey or agave will work cocoa powder tahini you can also use peanut butter or almond butter whatever you have and you're just going to throw all this in the blender put it in the fridge overnight or in the freezer for 30 minutes to an hour top it with all the delicious things and enjoy.
So I think my favorite part about this recipe might be the toppings. My favorites are banana and chopped almonds, but the options are really endless. You can do hemp seeds, flax seeds, chocolate chips, peanut butter, other fruit, really whatever sounds good to you or you have on hand. All right, this next recipe is a healthier version of the classic no-bake chocolate peanut butter bars using the PB2 powder, which I also used in a previous video on how to make low-calorie granola bars. I will link that above. Those granola bars are super delicious. Anyways, for this recipe, you will need to first make your peanut butter mixture by blending the peanut butter powder with water, and then you're also going to need Rice Krispies, flour, maple syrup, and chocolate chips. You're going to make your peanut butter layer your chocolate layer and then put it in the fridge overnight or freeze for one hour before cutting and storing in the fridge. If you're not already subscribed, make sure you do so and hit the little notification bell down below so that you won't miss my next video, which is going to be sharing with you what I eat in a day following the starch solution diet. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.